As we turn back to our studio audience, Jesse, what's your reaction to all of this and, and Secretary Gates' book? Why are we surprised? This is exactly what I expected out of this because I served under four commanders in chief. And to see this type of behavior come out, it's something that I actually recognized early on. So I'm actually not surprised. We have 600,000 Marines, soldiers, airmen, and sailors dead, injured, or wounded because of the result of these wars. And now the left can turn around and say, see, what did you do? When they're not looking back and realizing many of those deaths could have been prevented under this commander-in-chief if he had taken the mission seriously and wanted to win instead of fiddle around and play these types of games with our lives. Our blood is in their soil. Steve, you're an Oklahoma state senator. A lot of kids from Oklahoma have given their lives. I think it goes to a wider issue. In the Civil War, you had the party of opposition that were willing to shipwreck the country for political purposes. Progressives in World War I and II delayed our entry in those wars, costing tens of millions of lives worldwide. In Vietnam, uh, the South Vietnamese were willing to stand on their own and could until funding was pulled by progressives. In Somalia, vehicles were not sent that were costly. And we've seen my service in Iraq and Afghanistan undercut, underfunded, and the nation divided. We have to unite as a country and shame on any American that once a decision is made to go to war, Not you to have finish. to back us up. You have to let well, us win. I mean, yeah, look, I mean, I was, I was in Afghanistan for 485 days. I was wounded. 32 of my guys were wounded. We bled on that ground. Uh, longest combat deployment in the history of either of the wars. Uh, but the bottom line is, when you're there, you're not worried about politics. When that first round cracks by your head, you're not thinking about all this stuff. But I will tell you that now that I've been home for seven years, anytime we send soldiers to war, we have a moral obligation to win. That's right. And win big. You, because otherwise, you're going to have an entire generation of American After veterans and this, their families. You can't have America divided and politicizing it and politicians in yeah. Washington Look, politicizing I, it either. Yeah. Right. Deneen. Yeah. Well, first of all, my thoughts and prayers go out to the families.